Uh, congratulations. I mean, I'm sure you're still kind of soaking it in and, and processing it all, but just give us the emotions as you sit there right now. Oh, my gosh. It, it totally, it, it really hasn't completely set in yet, but I'm just so excited and happy and can't believe after all these years that, you know, I, I had the belt back. It's amazing. Does the feeling compare to the first time, or is it, I mean, it's obviously, like you said, it's been such a long journey to get back here. Is it, is it somehow maybe more special or more sweet to you? You know, it's really, it's really hard to compare the two because they are both such an amazing feeling. And I've been, I went through so much to get both the belt both times. Um, it's, but for sure, I would definitely rank getting the belt both times as the top two moments in my life. Uh, fight wasn't necessarily the most exciting fight that we've ever seen. So I guess if there's a, a sour point, it might be that. But what is your take about just how the, the way the whole thing played out? That's always a bummer. Um, you always want to put on a show for the fans. So it's, it's an unfortunate to, to be a part of a fight like that. But I felt that I was putting the pressure on. I felt that I was coming forward. I was the aggressor. I was holding on to the center of the octagon. So at the end of the day, I did, I did what I could. And I tried to fight my fight. But, you know, Fights go like that sometimes. Yeah. I think a lot of us were pretty uncertain what the judges' scores were going to be because the rounds were so close. How did you and your team, were you all scoring as you went along, and how confident were you that, okay, yes, we are banking these rounds? You know, in my head, I, I felt that, you know, just being the aggressor and, you know, I, it would look better to the judges. But in fights like that, you never know how the judges are going to view it. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, I was – not 100% sure what was going to happen when, when they called my name. As the fight's playing out, and obviously you're both staying disciplined and sticking to your game plans, was there ever a part in the latter stages where you're like, we've just got to get crazy and get aggressive, or did you think, let's, let's stay with what we're doing? You know, I felt that I, I fought a smart game plan. I felt that if I would have gotten too wild and too reckless, I could have set my, myself up for, you know, to be a highlight reel. You know, Rose has incredible timing and placement on her on her strikes you know she's had some awesome head kick finishes and drop people and punches so you know I didn't feel like um it was a smart person to get reckless with yeah do you think you'll ever cross paths with her again or do you think at this point you know we've seen it twice now you know it's hard to say what the future holds because I never even thought that we would be fighting today um but you never know and I'm down for whatever the UFC has in store for me oh, nice the last thing for me, you know, Dane always says we're not making fights right away, but he did say, hey, you know, Zhang and Yuan, a rematch kind of looks like a number one contender fight to him. Does it look like a number one contender fight to you as well? And, and do you have any thoughts on that match? I, I would say it's definitely like in the mix as the number one contender fight, that or Marina Rodriguez. I mean, obviously, you know, we fought before, but she's been on kind of a tear since we fought a few fights ago, and she's had some dominant uh, wins over some really great fighters. So I would definitely put her up there. Congrats, champ, right over here. Uh, I mean, first of all, I have to say, I have to ask, is that belt going to make an appearance at the wedding next week? Oh, most definitely. Um, I am, I'm going to walk with this belt down the aisle as my something new. <laughs> Super excited about that. Yeah. Are you really? I, I am. I am. It's going to be wrapped around my wedding dress. <laughs> and the face isn't busted up at all. For oh my gosh. I mean, at the end of the day, like I was going to fight the fight and whatever happens, so be it. But I can't say that I'm not happy that I'm not gonna. I would. I didn't get busted up for the for the wedding. As this is developing, as the fight's going on, do you were you finding yourself surprised almost by Rose's strategy, the hesitance to engage? You know, I, I definitely was a little bit surprised. Um, I thought she was going to be a little bit more aggressive. I wasn't surprised necessarily at the game plan. Um, you know, because I had kind of watched a similar fight like with Andraj, you know, where she kind of stayed on the outside and picked her shots. But I felt that she was a little bit more aggressive in that fight. Um, but, you know, the takedown, the takedown can definitely make um, people a bit weary. And I felt that she wasn't really committing much. So um, I've been a part of a few fights like that in the past, you know, with people who are worried about the takedown. So, you know, I can say I'm surprised, but not not totally. When she was in here, she was seemed pretty adamant that she thought she won. And so I'm just curious for your response to that or your reaction to that, maybe. You know, to win a fight, I feel like you have to do a lot more. Um, you have to be more aggressive. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it could have been anyone's game because, let's be honest, not a lot happened. But I felt that, you know, I was holding the center of the octagon. I felt like I was really trying to push the pace and come forward with my strikes and my takedowns. Um, so, you know, to, to really say that, hey, this was my victory, like, I feel like you have to do a bit more. Well, then, last one from me. We talked about it a lot in the lead-up, but 
this is now the longest gap between UFC championship reigns in the history of the promotion. I just wonder what that means to you to now have that and own that and what that says about you. Oh, my gosh. Honestly, that is one of my most proud accomplishments because I think that says a lot about me, you know, as an athlete that, you know, it's easy. It's not easy to even get the belt ever, but to kind of maintain at the top of this very, very difficult division in, in the biggest promotion in the world. You know, it's it's not easy. This this game is tough. And to, to still be here almost eight years later winning the belt again, I'm I'm super proud of myself. Congrats again. Thank you. Marla, right here. Um, congrats. Did you think coming in when you guys were game planning this that you would be able to win on one judge's scorecard four rounds only in this entire fight, getting two takedowns and having 22 seconds of control? You know, I definitely did not expect the fight to go like that. Um, you know, um, it's not the fight that I was hoping for. Um, I thought to get the win, you know, I'd have to solidify more takedowns. But, you know, I've been a part of fights like that before. As I said, like when I fought Michelle Waterson, it wasn't, you know, I was expecting more takedowns, but she kind of stayed on the outside. And not as much happened in that fight as I wanted either. But, you know, it was kind of like a similar outcome. I feel like if you want to really get that win, you got to stay busy. What do you think that says about your growth that you can win a fight like this when it plays out like that? I mean, th this fight was almost contended on the feet the whole time. So, you know, I, I think it's like, hey, everybody, like, I got striking too. If I need to pull it, up, pull it out the arsenal, like, I have it and I can use it need, if need be. And last thing for me, uh, we talked about potentially the Joanna and Wally winner fighting. Um, would there be something, you know, beautiful about you defending your title for the first time against Joanna again and wanting to, you know, set things differently in this title reign? Yeah, like, it would be awesome to kind of change the history. You know, obviously, I, I beat Rose the first time and won the belt and then lost it to Joanna. Um, you know, I feel like it would be a really, a really big accomplishment to go in there and beat her and just kind of show what's made me stay in the top of this division, that I have changed and I have grown and evolved throughout these years. Hey, Carlo, over here. We know that when you're in the octagon, you're in a fight, especially a title fight, you're uber focused. But at any moment during the fight, did your upcoming wedding cross your mind? <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of hard because during the fight, you know, sometimes you're in a little bit of a, a blank stare. You know, I was really focused on the fight, but definitely when the fight was finished, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, my face is, is clear. It's good. I was Definitely super relieved. Of course, makes sense. And then going into that fifth round, what are some of the things your coaches told you and did they feel that you were winning the bout after four? I believe my coaches um, told me that I was winning, but, you know, that, in the, that she was going to come, you know. Actually, they, I think they said she was going to be a little bit safe that last round. So, you know, I, I'm not too sure. In that, in that last round, I was just like, oh, my gosh, like, I, I want to do more. I really want to, like, set it in the eyes of the judges. But, you know, it's just... I hate to say it this way, but it's like it's hard to fight someone that doesn't want to fight. Makes, makes sense. And then you spoke a little bit about this, but going into the announcement of the decision, were you supremely confident that you had done enough to secure the win? I was confident that I had done enough to get the win, but with, when you leave it to the judges, you never know. So I was definitely like, you know, come on, come on, come on, <laughs> before they read the decision, and I was super stoked when they, when they announced it. And then lastly, uh, some fans out there, they feel that the, tight was, the fight was about a tie. It was kind of a draw, and because that Rose was the champion, that she deserved to retain the belt. What are your thoughts on that? You know, it's unfortunate that not so much even happened in the fight, you know, as I would have wished. So, I mean, it was definitely close, but I don't feel that Rose pushed, a, pushed the pace. I feel like as a champion, you really need to, to go after it and, and mark, you know, this is, this is my octagon, and... I don't really feel that she was aggressive enough to, to really say, like, hey, this was my win. So, you know, at the end of the day, I got the belt. And if she wants a rematch, I'm down for that, too. Congrats, Champ. Thank hey, you. Champ, uh, what are the plans for the honeymoon going to be now with that, ch that championship money coming in? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I actually have the honeymoon planned already. We're going to Bora Bora for a week, and I'm... So stoked on that. Um, it's, been a dream, it's been a dream of mine for a really long time. I actually, on The Ultimate Fighter, uh, funny story, Dana White uh, was like 
came in and was talking to us. He was like, oh, this, I just went to Bora Bora and he had a video and I was like, I'm going to go there one day and now it's a reality. And uh, you said you were wearing, over here again, you said you were going to wear the belt, rock the belt down the aisle. So I'm assuming there's no position open for belt bearer instead of ring bearer. <laughs> yeah, no, um, definitely. Uh, I mean, I said it, so. And I, I mean, come on, like, what cooler piece of, you know, jewelry or not even jewelry, I don't know, <laughs> what a better accessory piece than you can, can you have than this belt, so. <laughs> Thank you.